hello guys this is all robert and in this lecture we will be seeing about the closure property in javascript so what the closure property do right so first see the following piece of code this piece of code we have seen earlier also in this you can see first where i stand as initialized in the function outer we have add j initialized and we are printing in the console window i and j and then we have written the function error inside which we have the k variable and then we are printing the value of j and k and here we are calling the inner function and from here we are calling the outer function so what is the execution of statement first uh, control will come here after that outer function will be called and where j will be initialized and in the console window i and j value printed since so first it will search in, in its own scope it is not found it found so it will search in the outer scope means in the what we call in the outer environment and the outer environment for this outer function is the global scope so i will be 10 and j will be 20 printed after that from here inner function will be called and control will come here after after that where k is initialized with 30 and j and k will be printed it will search for j in its own scope in its own function scope it is not able to find it so it will search in the outer outer contest in the outer contest j will be find here j will be find here and it will print 20 and k will be printed as 30 so our output should be this one what is it code one from where it is wrong somewhere it is wrong no 10 20 and 20 30 is the output if you wish to draw the uh, execution stack for this piece of code you can draw it like i am drawing it for you here first uh, this is the execution stack first the execution stack for the outer variable is created outer uh, what we call outer not global for global it is created for global execution contest will be created and in this what all things will be there and this i will be there i will be there outer function will be there and uh, that's it and this will be there after that uh, when the outer function will be called from here then execution stack uh, context for the outer will be created execution stack for outer and in this what all things will be there first in the outer function j will be there inner function will be there and after that this will be there and uh, reference to the outer environment and outer environment for i am writing outer environment and outer environment for this outer function is the global area after that inner function will be called and the execution context for the inner will be created and in this what all things will be there in this k will be there and uh, this will be there and outer environment will be there reference to the outer environment will be there and the outer environment for inner function is the outer outer function so i'm writing is like this so this is the execution stack execution stack for this piece of code right here we will understand the importance of the outer environment by seeing some piece of code so i'm showing you right now here instead of calling the inner function you have just return the inner function i want 
to just return the inner function from here return inner and for that function inner will be written as var inner equal to function this will be written as the what we call not as a function but a like this where inner function and return inner and since the outer, when the outer function will be called then the inner we have will be returned so we have to write the inner very we have to store the variable inner here uh, while calling the inner function and after that we are calling the inner function right so expect what should be the output of this piece of code uh, I am running it you can see the output is same as earlier that is 10 20 and 20 30 but uh, from this piece of code I will show you that this should throw error and I will be explaining you why it should throw error with the help of execution stack and uh, and what it should throw error but it is not throwing error and I will tell you why it is not throwing error what are the properties of JavaScript that's why it is not throwing error so let's come to the one note this is a piece of code that we have just seen now right So this is the piece of code that we have just seen we will be drawing the execution stack for this piece of code then only we will be able to understand why it should throw error and I will be explaining you why it is not throwing error right so first the uh, context uh, execution uh, co uh, context for global bill we created and inside that what all things will be there inside that what all things will be there I will be there outer function will be there and uh, what uh, inner is there because inner is created in the global scope inner is there not the inner function inner is there and after that we have this uh, this and in the outer function when the outer function will be called from here the outer function is called since the outer function is called then inside this what all things will be there inside this we have an outer we have the variable j and then we have the variable inner and then that's it this will be there and the outer environment will be there and the outer environment for this fun outer function is the global area right so this is the outer environment for the outer function no when the outer function will be called it will re it return the inner variable that is this function right and after that this outer is going to be deleted right because since the outer function is already completed it has completed its execution so inner is there only inner, inner, inner function is returned by the outer function and now the inner is called called now when inner inner is called then variable k will be printed uh, where k equal to 30 will be initialized and now we are printing both j and k but since the outer function is deleted so this co execution context will also will be deleted this execution uh, context what I call uh, this a in area is also deleted right so from where this j has come this j has come because 
it has since the in inner function can be called so while deleting this outer function all the things all the variables inside the inner function that are there it just stores it right it just stores all the variable so when all the variables are stored then this is how it is able to print the value of j otherwise it should have thrown error but uh, since it has the outer function when it was deleting at the time of deleting it has stored the value of j and that's why you it is able to show the output to you otherwise it has shown error so this is this property of showing any variable in, uh, in spite of getting deleted in spite of getting deleted this variable is present now and is accessible by the inner function it is because of the closer property this is the closer property and what the closer property is this is function plus the lexical environment this is the function because we are calling the inner function and uh, plus the lexical environment the lexical environment because uh, since c is accessible by the inner function so this is the lexical environment lexical environment so this is how it is able to print the value of j also in spite of getting outer function getting deleted because of closer property so closer property has the work of storing any variable in spite or its execution context has been deleted it is able to store the variable so that the inner function or any function that it want to use that variable it can use that so thank you so much for watching and keep following in the next lectures thank you very much